Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White Version. Today's episode, um, <laughs> we're finally going to take on the gym. And while I was gone, I, I did this off screen, but I, I trained uh, Malloy to level 20 so he can get caught up with everyone else. But yeah, today we're finally going to challenge the gym of Castilia City. Yeah, I know, it's taken a long time since I got to this stu silly city, but there's so much to do in Castilia. It's ridiculous. Uh, anyways, here's the gym, in case you guys don't remember from last episode. Whoa, how is Castilia City? Just getting through the gym through the crowds wore you out, I bet. Yeah, it took us, what, three, uh, three or four episodes to get to this point. Oh, goodness. Anyways, um, like the other guys at the front of the gym, they give you fresh water. The theme of this gym is breaking through the other side of the walls. The honey walls may not look especially pen especially penetrable, but keep at it and you'll keep making your way through. Okay, the concept of this gym here, there, like I said before, every gym has its puzzles, along with trainers you need to fight. The concept of this gym is going, keep pushing away your way through these honey walls, and eventually you go through them. And you hit these switches which activate these gates here. You see how the light got up there? If you activate both lights on each end of the gate, it opens the gate. And then we get clowns. Ugh, I hate clowns. Castilia City slowly unfolds, just like a beautiful art piece or a breathtaking battle. Fine. Jeez. I hate this. I hate clowns. You are challenged by Clown Jack. He must be a jack of all trades. <laughs> oh my gosh! Train, really? You're gonna do this while I'm recording? Anyways, I I realized that um. Oh my gosh, you are especially loud today, Steve. Holy crap! Jeez, will you shut up? Gosh. Anyways, I switched out Malloy because, well, he's weak against bug types. I don't know if anybody knows this, but uh, actually, I think any Pokemon fan, any Pokemon expert, can tell you that Dark types don't fare against Bug types very well. So he's gonna, not gonna be challenge. He's not gonna be too much of a hitter in this gym. But who's gonna be the really a heavy hitter is HD Elder here. He's gonna be the biggest uh, member of the gym because, well. Flying types are strong against bug types. And seeing as how I don't really have any other moves, and ouch, poison tail, ouch, 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 don't you faint, H. Gilder. Anyways, um, like I said before, I don't have any other Pokemon that's strong against bug types. You know, I thought about this a long time ago, and I was like, um, I'm kind of glad I thought ahead because, well, when I did my first playthrough of this game, whenever the game came out, I chose Tepig. And fire types are strong against bug types, so I had no problem. Well, this playthrough I'm playing was I chose Snivy as my starter Pokemon, and he's weak against bug types. So, yeah, I'm like, um, well, I guess I need to find another Pokemon that uh can do well against bug types. So that's when I that's where the idea of HD Elder came in, I guess. Okay, Ugh, honey. Oh no. Sometimes whenever you hit the switch, these switches here, uh, a, a trainer will pop out and you have to challenge them to fight like I just did right there. Oh, his name is Carrie now. You know what? I don't know why this is reminding me of this. It might be because the name Carrie is kind of... Eh, I wouldn't say it's close to the word Kappa, but it, 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 it's, it's almost there. But... For okay, I think you guys know I'm joining a fraternity, and actually I need to tell you this. I know I mentioned in my Golden Sun episode last time that I probably wouldn't have time to record anything. Well, I found time tonight, and I just recorded this. But anyways, um, before I go into that story, this Pokemon right here, this is a new one that you haven't seen. His name is Dwebble. He is a Rock Bug type. Um, I don't. No, I take that back. Matt, shut your mouth before you you make a stupid comment. There has been bug 
bug rock types before. Shuckle, for instance. Eric's favorite Pokemon. Um, anyways. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> oh, there he goes. Dang it. Well, anyways, I wanted to get in the story. The fraternity, I, the fraternity I'm joining... Um, well... <laughs> I guess for the, the ha this quote-unquote hazing process of the of the fraternity, we have to take quizzes about the fraternity. And just the other night, I had to learn the Greek alphabet. <laughs> Boy, was that fun! Oh gosh! If I can, if I can name it, I think I could. Um. Anyways, yeah. Any water type moves will do good against Webble. That's why I had Tron out there. Do 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 Hiding lessons and permission passion can be blah blah blah. Anyways, I'm gonna make a cut here. Yeah, right there. Because I had to go back to the Pokemon Center and we activated another switch. But anyways, I think I might as well. You know, I'm killing time here while here in the gym. Um I might I'm going to recite you guys some of the questions I had to take on this week's quiz. First question was name the Greek alphabet. Alright, it goes Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta. Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, uh, Omicron, Kevin always gets, Kevin always gets after me for saying that wrong, Omicron, Pi, and what's up with that? Rho Sigma Tau Upsilon Phi Chi Psi And then Omega. Yeah, got it! Okay, good, because I needed to know that for the... I'm, okay, next week is the final, and we have to know every single question that we've done. Oh, by the way, guys, I didn't mention this before. Good thing I ended here. p evolves at level 21. And guess who's level 21? HD Elder. He's level 21, so he's evolving. Glad, wow, that lucky chance that, that that ended there. Congratulations, HDL evolved into Tranquil. Tranquil, this is good that he evolved, especially for this gym. It makes the gym ten times easier. Now, there's another question. It's a big question that was on the quiz. It was, uh, name the purpose of Delta Sigma Pi. That's the fraternity I'm joining. And I had to memorize this long sentence. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay. Delta Sigma Pi is a professional fraternity organized to foster the study of business in universities to encourage scholarship, social activity, and the association of students for their mutual advancement by research and practice to promote a closer affiliation between the commercial world and students of commerce and to further a higher standard of commercial ethics and culture and the civic and commercial welfare of the community yes i got it oh my gosh oh gosh i i, can't, I still can't believe i still memorized that Oh gosh, I know, guys. I'm probably really boring you with that, but I just—I was really excited. I was just—I was really excited. I memorized all that stuff, so I just might as well just share it with you guys. But yeah, that's what I've been doing mostly this week. And this week, I've also been like, um, 
well, on Monday, we had, we had a little fundraiser over at Pizza Hut, um, in the college town I live in. Anyways, our, our fraternity spawn our teamed up with Pizza Hut in order to sponsor a fundraiser where we had to go hand out flyers to a lot of people and we also had to um, have them take the flyer up there. But anyways, if they took it up there and order something with it, a portion of it goes to this little girl named Gabby Scholl. She was born with a rare bone cancer and a portion of their meal of the meal that they purchased, a portion of the money that they spent on it would go to her and her family. And tomorrow, this is currently Wednesday night that I'm recording this, uh, tomorrow we have another fundraiser. It is, we're going on this street in town called Pine Street, and we're selling caramel apples and stuff like that because it's close to Halloween, so. And also we have a community service event on Saturday where we're doing canned food drives and stuff like that. It's really fun. Anyways, oh goodness, wow, this team, this just turned, timed up nicely after telling my story. Anyways, here's the last switch, and it opens the door to the gym leader. Yes. Now I'm going to make a cut here because I need to go to the Pokemon Center, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Anyways, uh, let's let's head through this, honey. And go up here, and here is Berg. Actually, they called him Artie in, the, in this English ROM, but, you know... In the game, his name is Berg. This is Japanese names here, anyways. I'm gonna save right here, because I don't know if I'm gonna win or not. I always do this right before the gym. I always do it. Thanks for earlier. My bug Pokémon were clamoring to fight you. Oh boy. Alright, well, I might be going a little quick, but it's time to battle! Cue epic music again. I do that every time, oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, this is our... This is Berg. He has a Whirlipede at level 21. Webble at level 21, and a Lee Vanny at level 23. Now, Whirlipede is the evolved form of Vinipede, if you guys couldn't tell already. And I started out with Wecker here because, well, he's got a flame move. A flame move. You see, you have hit my sword with my soul. I didn't even receive what he said there. <laughs> Anyways, he's got a move called Nitro Charge. It's actually called Flame Charge in the English game. I think I mentioned this a long time ago, but I'm not sure I'm going to do it again. Anyways, Flame Charge, whenever you use it, it increases speed. And it's kind of helpful that Wecker knows a flame move. <laughs> Even though he's an electric Pokemon. Because it kind of helps a little bit. Anyways, what you need to watch out for is that in particular. And he took out Wecker. Gosh darn it! Uh, Whirlipede is one of those Pokemon that likes to set up it by using Screech. Screech is a move that it lowers the defense point, defense of the Pokemon by two points. I used it twice on Wecker, and I, Wecker's already got a terrible defense, so one Poison Tail just took him out. But nonetheless, Puppy has saved the day and taken out Whirlipede. Whee! Dun, 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 dun. And puppy's level 21 and going to go fight the other Pokemon here. Anyways, he sends out Dwebble. Like I said, we've already mentioned what this Pokemon is. He's got a high defense. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. Dwebble's got a really high defense because he's got that shell. And knockdown. In the English game, it's called Smackdown. I don't know what the effect does. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I don't know what the effect does of SmackDown, but it hurts. It really hurts. I'm trying to boost up my attack with uh, Cheer Up here because, well, like I said before, his defense is pretty high, and the only way I can really get underneath his shell. I hate to be <laughs> a pun there, but 
get under his shell there is to, to raise my attack. <laughs> oh boy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no! And there goes Puppy. Gosh darn it! I guess we're gonna have to use Tron. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's use Bubble Beam! He's using pi a Hyper Potion? Holy crap, I never really actually I take that bag. Third gym and fourth or for third gym and fourth gen at level 30 Pokemon. What am I talking about? Anyways. And he used hyper potion again. Holy crap. Didn't see that coming. Crap. Well what am I saying crap for? That means he's not gonna use it on his highest level Pokemon. Anyways, we took out Dwebble. Yay! And here comes the big gun, Leave Annie. I'm going to switch out to HCL because this is the only way I'm ever going to damage this thing. Leave Annie! Oh boy. I... <laughs> Let us farther. The bug spirits. No way, that doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> Anyways, Leave Annie. Leave Annie is the final evolutionary form of the Seawaddle family. And like I said before, if I didn't have a grass Pokemon already, I would already be, I would be raising this because I love Leave Annie. It's very fast. Well, I don't know if it's fast. Mine was ha fast because it had hasty nature. Um, <laughs> Leave Annie is a very good Pokemon in my opinion because it's bug grass. It can take out psychic Pokemon. It can take out dark Pokemon. It can take out a lot of stuff. Although it makes it like four times susceptible to flying types, which. Tranquil here took out Lee Annie pretty easily, so <laughs> yay! Well, it looks like it didn't have too much trouble with his gym. It took he took out two of my Pokemon, but nonetheless, it's alright. Oh, how could this be? And we got 2750 for winning. Oh, I lost. Regardless, it shows you're definitely a strong one. Take this gym badge. You beat me after all. And we got our third badge! To our handy dandy gym badge case. Oh my gosh, match. Stop it before your head. We got the beetle beetle badge. Actually, it's called the insect badge in the English game. The fact that you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40, will listen to you. Er, right, take this too. TM oh my gosh, really? Another English translation error. Okay, it's called Bug Opposition, but in the English game it's called Bug uh, Struggle Bug. <laughs> to foes and lowers a special tax, even something that seems trailerifying be crucial. Remember, crucial. Remember. And with that, we have defeated Artie or Berg or whatever you want to call him. <laughs> and we've gotten our third gym badge. We are. Three ace the way done with all the gym badge. Oh boy, and I'm glad we're get we got that out of the way because, like I said, I actually, he's a actually pretty tough cookie to get out of if you're not careful. So I'm actually glad we. Oh, livecaster's ringing. Oh crap! Dang livecaster! Oh, it's it's Bianca. Hey, where are you now? I've got a favor to ask you, um, which is, let's have a Pokemon battle. I think you've gotten a little stronger training with Iris. I mean, I should at least be able to protect my Pokemon from now on. Well, let's meet up at the gate leading to Route 4. That's that. Okay, see you later. And with that, in the next episode, we will go and fight Bianca at the gates of the city. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!